All right, another thing regarding the radi, the compound radi here, when they give you intersecting points, you can see there's my CL7, CL6 for the ground. Here's my CL7, CL6 for the roof line. And that point, CL7 for the ground started right here. CL7 for the roof starts flush right here. So how you go about this, they gave us a dimension uh, for both. So in this case, this one was seven foot six and a half. So I need to go seven foot six and a half from here to here. Now, in order to not grow or shrink your uh, number and end up too far uh, or too short, most likely you'd end up too short or way too, yeah, you could end up short or far depending on how you goof up. But you wanna have, if you can, you have a nice flexible tape. And I like to burn myself one foot for my marks. Well, you'll start here. And our next one is 14.5. So what you'll do is you'll start right there. And I'll do this two-handed uh, once I stop this video here. But you would start here, try to get as close to your line as possible because even the thickness of your tape will change your radii by that much, but your radius. But you can either go, depending on how tight uh, your radius is, you would either go like three inches, or most of these radii here are big, so I can go every six inches and get pretty close. Maybe four if it's small, or even three or two if it's a really tight radius. And you want to pinch it and rotate your tape, pinch it, rotate your tape, pinch it, rotate your tape, and work your way around like that to keep, make sure that your number, your uh, dimension, lands in the right spot along that radius.